Good morning, Orchid friends. Suniti, 4th January 2014. Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, so this is my first video for this year. And I wanted to look at how to stake a spike. Now, I have this particular spike growing under the leaf there. You can see like that. And this is the uh, the fall with the white flowers, with the neem oil burns, and the oh, you know repotting. We've gone through all that. This is the third year that I'm owning this Phalaenopsis, and the spike is now running under the leaf because the plant is kind of tilted over. It has tilted over like that. So uh, I have not been unable to pull it out and stake it because otherwise I would have broken the spike. So it's growing under the leaf there, and I'm going to see how it goes, how far it wants to go, and just let it hang because it's too late for me to spike it, uh, to stake it. The other one here, for example, here the I have a nice fell here that is putting out a spike and it's just grown up on its own nice and strong no staking and it seems to be standing on its own so I'm going to leave it there this incidentally is a fell with a second spike coming out there as well okay the other thing is I wanted to show you was um, of course my DTPS now this doesn't need not need staking because it's nice and strong on its own it has a nice little curve and it can bear its own weight. So uh, that's as far as the staking goes. So I'm going to leave things as they are with this one and if it comes to that that it's hanging low and I don't have room uh, I'm going to just put it on a higher a higher space and let the spike hang down and maybe weigh down the pot with stones to prevent it from tipping over. So that's my update on the spikes and in particularly that I'm going to let this go all natural and just let it go wherever it wants to go. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.